Hey everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we are doing a quick review and unboxing. Um, today we got in the TB League, formerly known as Fison, the Bloodshot figure from the Valiant Comic Universe. Uh, I will say real quick, and I won't go into like a huge history about the character of Bloodshot, but uh, for us old farts that used to read the comics when they first came out by Valiant back in the early 90s, um, the resurgence of these characters in about 2012 uh, when they relaunched the Valiant universe, which they did a reboot before. These comics that have come out here recently within the, the last uh, five to six years are some of the best stories, art that you will find and uh, kind of overshadowing what Marvel and DC are doing. So if you're not reading the new Valiant universe, and you're a fan of uh, just some really good comics and really good story, you owe it to yourself to check them out. Anyway, that's that was my brief little history. Let's go on and uh, go into the figure itself. I know there's another review out there. Sadly, uh, there was a lot of misrepresentations about the, the figure itself. I don't know if the person's ever dealt with Fison before because he's talking about it being a squishy body. It feels squishy. For those that, that know Fison and uh, TV League, they make a rubber uh, silicone type body on a metal armature. And that's why I guess he thought it was squishy. Anyway, let's just go ahead and go on with the unboxing. Yeah, it comes in a uh, brown shipper box, uh, depending on who you get it from. And I already started the cut. Personally, I, I really like Bloodshot. It was one of my always one of my favorite Valiant characters. I would love to see a Turok. Uh, for those that don't know, Turok is a a Native American or Indian that is struck uh, in. Uh, placed in a dimension where dinosaurs were the original stuff that came out from gold key he was in a universe where it was just dinosaurs and then later they did it where he was in a universe where dinosaurs had been cybernetically altered but that's another character completely anyway we get a really nice box you got a picture of the actual figure on the front of bloodshot um this, this thing is heavy I know uh, that's one thing TV League is known for is they really come out with some intricate bases that they provide with their figures, not just like a little plastic stand, but like a uh, um, a polystone type base. And this one comes with like a almost like a city diorama or like a railing and stuff like that in a fire hydrant. It looks like a war zone kind of thing. Get another great picture of the figure on the side. Get a picture of Bloodshot on the back, holding his katana blade. There's some blood there. Um, there is a read up right here, and I will go ahead and put that right there. If you want to go ahead and pause it now so you can read that, we will go ahead and take a moment. So you would pause now. All right. And you got your legalese, uh, Valiant Universe, uh, TB League. Uh, 2008 and on the other side we get uh, the Valiant logo you get a picture of bloodshot and bleed it through uh, with a red filter uh, it says welcome to the Valiant universe discover the largest independent universe in comics with indelible icons of Exo Man of War bloodshot Ninjak uh, Harbinger Archer and Armstrong Faith Shadow Man and many more find the adventure to call your own with the formidable heroes, relentless adversaries, mind-bending lo locales of all the award-winning publishing line that BuzzFeed calls a universe full of your new favorite superheroes. And that is not a lie. They are some of the best comics put out in years. And I know the front, the way they've been doing them, is a magnetic flat front. So you almost have 
like if you have a detox you could put that in bend that back and you have a nice little backdrop so we'll pull that back uh, we have a from foam front here let's just set that down Whew, there is a strong aroma. I don't know if it has to do with the the body itself being that um, silicone, but there is a strong aroma to him. Uh, that's part of the base. Silica gel. This is part of the base. Again, you get this really, really detailed uh, fire hydrant that's got some great weathering and detail. And this is just part of the display base. And it's got a, a felt bottom. That's what I'm talking about, the amount of detail that they put in just the extras that you get. And a figure like this, if you look on eBay, I know you're gonna see them for like upwards of 250. It's retarded, don't spend that kind of money. Uh, you will find them all day long from reputable dealers. 159, 169, or it's about a $170 figure, that's it. And the amount of what you get for a figure like this from uh, TB League is amazing. So they don't just make big boobied female figures that are scantily dressed. They do make some really, really cool figures. Um, and uh, happy to support them. Got the main body. Now this is on a muscular, their muscular body. And... Wow, he has got a ton of weight to him. And I know he's got that steel armature, but he feels like you could knock somebody out with him. Uh, you got some really great boot detail. Uh, even though they're all rubber, they do have some ankle pivot, pivot and movement. Uh, got some really nice... Uh, black combat cargo pants, gray belt. You've got his bloodshot shirt. Um, in the early comics, he didn't wear a shirt. He just had his shirt off and his skin had the blood dot on it where uh, uh, like his skin had been removed and it was just like muscle tissue. Um, I know the other guy that did a review was questioning why uh, TB League would put a white thin sleeve, uh, long sleeve shirt on him, like real thin, instead of just having the natural body show through. I guarantee you the reason they did this was TB League was thinking ahead, knowing that the black um, shirt or the black pants may transfer that black color onto the soft silicone body. And you could take this off. Like if you didn't want the shirt on him, you could take the shirt off remove this thin undershirt and the body itself does have that red blood dot as on the center of the chest so you could pose him that way now as cool as the body is you got to have a decent head sculpt to convey your figure and that is just nuts. Now, the deal with Bloodshot is his skin pigment is white. And he has these blood eyes. And that is because his system is coursing with billions of nanite cells. So he's literally like a walking computer and this agency has basically wiped out his memory and they use him almost as an organic robot and they tell him what they want him to think they program what they want him to believe and make him do stuff that he would not normally possibly do again I don't want to spoil anything for those that might want to pick up the comic a lot of people might end up picking up the comic that have never read it just because they pick up the figure and if that's the case, that's fantastic, because you will not be sorry. You will love it. That is an awesome sculpt. I love this sculpt. So let's go ahead and pop that sucker on the head. You've got that steel armature. 
got it on there and he does have some awesome range of motion I mean I just can't get over the weight on this sucker I mean he is he is solid All right, let's see what else we get in the set. So we'll set him aside for now. I'm gonna set this down. All right. Uh, God, there is a ton of stuff with this set. Okay, we've got some uh, belt pouches here for like a combat belt. We have three different holsters. We've got three different handguns. See if I can bring them closer. Boop. Really nicely detailed. Um, let's see if yeah, they slide. Clip does come out. Here's a close up. Oh, here's a close up of those pouches. Beautiful detail, all done in like a leather-like material, not plastic. Uh, you've got his shoulder harness, which includes the katana, the katana blade. And you will put two of the holsters along these straps as well. There's your katana blade. It's plastic, but it is painted with a silver paint that looks realistic, like metal. Not a lot of weight to it. I do like the blood effect on there. The, sh the, the sheath for the sword is leather as well. Nicely done. All right, we've got his rifle that has the drop down shotgun onto it the stock slides it does have a pump action on it the clip does remove you have a sight up above and for about 99 cents you can get yourself a sling for it and add a sling to this which i'm going to do You do have his little combat belt to put your pouches and your extra holster on. Man, that's, that chemical smell is very strong on this figure. Uh, you got uh, some extra hands. These, I would think, would be the gripping hands for, like, the katana. Uh, since he does have two hands on that are trigger hands. You only get uh, the the four hands. Uh, I know most figures you get like six, but then they always give you like two of those relaxed palm ones that never I never use anyway. So, all right, we are getting down below another foam layer, and now I understand why this thing was so heavy. This is the base that he comes with. It is a huge concrete slab kind of thing. You've got some bullet marks. You've got uh, some rubble there. Um, then the back is even detailed. I mean, you could literally have him like here set up like he's firing over. And uh, it does have the, the felt rubberized bottom. I mean, you get a massive display with him. This is too cool. All right, let me set that down. 
Give me just a minute. I'm going to put everything together so you can see everything together, what he comes with. Okay, everybody. I've got Bloodshot set up the way I want him. I went ahead and removed the little white undershirt, which the only reason Fison put that on there is so that the dye would not transfer from the black little cotton shirt, which that's what he wears in some of the, uh, the current comics, but he also wears a white t-shirt with that dot. But the thing is, he has the dot on the chest, and they put that on the body. The sad thing is, by having this white undershirt and uh, the other one on, and I understand why they did it, because they don't want to transfer dyes, the body itself has some really beautiful blue hues and cell shading on it where it, it kind of mixes. It's not just straight white. You can see it more on camera on the face than you can the body, but on the body, it's there too. And I really just like this look of him being shirtless, looking like he did back in the 90s uh, in the in the comics, except in those days he wore like the green combat pants. Basically, he was Arnold, but uh, uh, a human that had uh, these computers running through his bloodstream that could repair him or, or what have you. Um, totally love this figure. The quality of the figure is insane. Um Again, it's a, it's a heavy, heavy piece. You'll, you will be surprised once you're holding it in the hand. The display base is freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love it. The quality of materials from the, the little leather pouches to the leather holsters, um, just all the gear you get with this. Um, in a day and age where you pay $2.45 for a Hot Toys figure that's just the base figure, a couple hands and a stand, it's nice to see something come in at the 160 to 170 price point that you get like this huge display base uh, diorama. You've got something that you can put behind the figure and your detoff, plus a, a ton of weapons. I mean, he's got the sword, three different guns. He's got the, the rifle with the, uh, the shotgun attachment onto it, which also is removable. You've got the harness, the gear. It's just, uh, it's an, an amazing figure. Um, two thumbs up to TB League for putting out an amazing release. The body is very high quality. There is some funk to it. It's starting to fade now. Uh, I think that's when you first open it up. Maybe it's the, the mold release process or it's the silicone itself. It doesn't smell like that anymore. But the, the joints are incredibly tight and, you know... I don't know. This is my first TB League figure, and I'm just stunned. I'm a fan, and I will probably pick up other ones that I wasn't going to. I'll probably look to pick up the Death Dealer now, the Hercules figure. I'm not into a lot of the 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 female figures, but I will probably seek out the Vampirella just to have her with, you know, if she's this kind of quality as well. Um, there's one thing I would recommend if you're futzing with them and doing uh, the web belt on the one end, I would put like a little bead of super glue just to keep that from fraying as you're going through your belt hoops and uh, the, the other stuff. It just make your life easier. And I already have like the quarantine statue that they put out a few years ago, and this will look really great on the shelf with all of them together. Anyway, two thumbs up, hang back. I'm going to have some HD photos of him and some different poses. Um... If you're into the Valiant Universe, he's a must-buy, without a doubt. If you're not into the Valiant Universe, he kind of is a must-buy. <laughs> or it would be something that, you know, you're looking for something that you want to add and add a little extra flavor to your shelves. I would definitely get him because you can totally max this guy out. I mean, granted, he comes with all this. But I'm going to add a grenade launcher. I'm going to add a whole bunch of extra stuff, a shotgun on a sling. I'm putting that on a sling. I'm going to have him decked out like he's the freaking Terminator going into that building. I'm going to have him load it down with weapons. And he's just going to look massive. He's going to have a great shelf presence. Love this. Can't recommend it enough. Again, I thank you for watching. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. Hit that like button. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We're a young channel and we really need as many people and views as we can get. We are definitely trying to grow and I appreciate and we love all our new people that we've had join us. And thanks. And again, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Take care.